Apian way to row. The, the width of the road had to be a certain width for the horse carriage. And thousands of years later, when they started the railway, the width of the Roman world roads were used for the rail gauge in America. And when they were building the rockets, you cannot have a component that went beyond the width of the rail gauge when they're transporting it to, uh, uh, what do you call it, Cape Canaveral. You can't have, have it bigger than that rail gauge. And so that is the size of the rocket that went to the moon because of Roman roads. Now, uh, these things can be changed because these things need to, we just need to have as Malaysians in a globalized world in the 21st century where things are more flexible what does not work anymore for us as a society needs to be discussed openly and it is up to us to bring that culture to create that space to have the discussions which are important for the sake of our future and I think a lot of the issues in Malaysia need some leadership in that sense because no one wants to, to put their head out there to be a bit controversial to open up that space you know, there are a lot of good things in Australia. One thing about Australia is uh, it's egalitarianism. And because they're so egalitarian, you know, they're so convivial with one another, they don't mind just jabbing each other once in a while. But it's done in such a friendly spirit. But in Malaysia, that sort of culture becomes very offensive to, to some. Um, but we can change that if more of the Australian graduates go back and then start altering the cultures, hey, it's, it's alright, you don't have to get sensitive for it. Don't sweat the small stuff. And really give everyone a fair goal in, in expressing themselves, I think. Those uh, things we are referring to can change. It's good to keep some of them, but the things that don't work anymore needs to be addressed in an open way. But that's up to all of us here. Thank you. Any other questions? Another five minutes. Any one question to me? Questions? Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Afik. I'm a student as well. I think, going back to Raj's question, which I think, I'm sorry, uh, uh, to me, I don't think you addressed was, uh, I'm not sure whether I got your question right, but it's with regards to um, cultural identity and in globalization. So, with regards to this, what are your thoughts? I mean, uh, we have a lot of Melbourneian um, students coming to Melbourne and studying in Melbourne and other parts of the country and they come back to Malaysia having this I might be wrong but I feel like it is an elitist sort of view I'm from a different country, I come back and I want to it's like Sitanggang if I could use that uh, analogy Okay. so what are your views on this and how, how, how do you think we should address this should we go like oh yes, do you understand my question? yeah, yeah I understand the question because it seems like um, uh, I'm reading this on the Twitter sphere a lot like, oh, all you foreign grads come back, you think you'll know a lot. That's sort of, uh, is that what you're referring to? Something like that, but it's I, like I, a, I, I, I'm trying to ask on a cultural basis. Yeah. You know, like How do you implement change? No, no, you're uh, talking about a cultural... cultural yeah, yeah, change, but yeah. with change comes a cultural shift. And as to your argument just now, it, it almost seemed to me that you are trying to advocate a more Western sort of point of view, which Australian cultures being militarism, having a higher, um, what do you say, uh, a higher ability to, to, to go back and forth without the, the single or anything like that. I mean, we have cultures and we are not the same. How do you, how does globalization, the act of globalization is to mix and match everything to get to come? What I was getting at uh, earlier was this idea of, um, this idea of, oh, this is the proper method to behave because it's a cultural thing that can be negotiated you know um, if you if you observe uh, how things are going in Malaysia in, in, even in the public sphere uh, there's, it's, it, we are Eastern society so it's always a lot of top down so, but we can actually start to <coughs> orientalize things so you create like more of the, a blending of two elements coming together. And that's how what globalization is about. It's about the West meeting the East and both sides taking the best values from one another and making the best of it. And that's the opportunity that we have. And we can lead that we can kinda like lead the discussion towards, hey look, 
this is more exciting. This is the opportunity we can create. Rather than say, oh, we have to stick to these old, old methods of doing things, which might not work in the new world. And the fact that we have 60% of the population under the age of 30, that shows that the young people can actually lead the discourse, can actually have their voices heard, and actually contribute creatively, creativity. I mean, we learn things quickly, we grasp the uh, information technology and all the gadgetry very well, so why not? Lead in that sense, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this one um a friend of mine, a very good dear friend of mine, who is a journalist in Victor Harian, and she described our democracy and technology as such. Bagaikan kera with a mobile phone. You know what I'm saying? So we have got this huge, and, and not to say that we all kera, but <laughs> the, 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 the concept is this. Our method of transparency, openness and all can be a bit old-fashioned in a lot of ways. Now we have got something totally new in our hands. Now if we just adopt it spot on without and taking all Western values straight on, it's going to be very disruptive for our society. I understand that change needs to be done, but change needs to be implemented cautiously and slowly. Once you do that principles cautiously and slowly, then you will have an issue of inclusiveness rather than creating an elitist level of society. And the only way that this method can be implemented slowly is the education system, the uh, promotion of unity of all Malaysians, the promoter, uh, promotion of uh, values that inculcate uh, discussion, discourse, rather than just memorizing and, and blurting it out. Uh, that is how we want to create a young mindset who have critical values inbuilt in them since young. That's my comment. Thank you. Thank you.